Hello and welcome to the broadcast. Today we're going to be talking about how to upgrade from Windows XP Service Pack 2 to Windows Vista. The upgrade process is very simple and it only takes a couple steps, but there are some things that we need to take care of before we actually do the upgrade. First of all, Microsoft recommends that you uninstall any antivirus software that you have currently on your computer. I've been using Norton Antivirus and I've gone into Start, Control Panel, Add Remove Programs and I've uninstalled Norton Antivirus from my computer, rebooted and I've brought it back up again. Once you have that uninstalled, then you'd want to make sure that you have a, a full backup of any of your files that you have on your computer. Most people know where their files are located, but I'm going to generally give a brief overview of where those files may be located. If you do a right click on my computer and go into Explore, you'll notice your My Documents folder. I would take everything from your My Documents folder, including your My Music, My Pictures, any files, any other folders that you have, make a copy of those and put them out to either a USB jump drive, to a DVD, to a CD, to a floppy, whatever you have. Also under My Computer, you'll notice Documents and Settings. For each person that's logged in, each person has a profile. For me, if I expand out the window a little bit, I'd want to go ahead and back up the folder named Brian. If you have any other folders with either family names or perhaps a domain username, any type of folders that you would have that have, would have any kind of files, you would want to make sure that you have those backed up. And of course, if you have anything in any other areas of the computer. Now, if you have by any chance a deep partition, this is my CD-ROM, but if you actually had a deep partition, which was also a local disk, you could actually copy those files to the D drive because during the upgrade process only the C partition gets upgraded and everything that would be on D or E, whatever else you have, would then be safe. So as long as you copy it off of the C partition, you're pretty good. Once we have that completed, I'm going to go back into Explorer. I'm going to take a look on my CD-ROM and I'm going to double click on the setup, which is my CD for Windows Vista. All the window comes up. Okay, now we have a couple options here. I'd also recommend what to know before installing Windows that you click on this. All that this does is actually bring up a, a couple recommendations from Microsoft um, before you go ahead and you upgrade to Windows Vista. Most importantly, you have to make sure that your operating system is compatible with Windows Vista. In order to check your compatibility, let's go ahead and check compatibility online. This is going to bring us out to Microsoft's website where we have the ability to go ahead and download the Windows Vista Upgrade Advisor. If you click on this link, it's going to prompt you to do a download. I've already gone ahead and I've saved it down to the desktop, so if you were to click Save, it would copy it down to your desktop. This will be the file that will be downloaded from Microsoft's website for the Upgrade Advisor. Simply double click on this and this will go through the installation. If for some reason in the beginning of the installation, the installation realizes that your computer does not have the .NET framework, it will prompt you to go ahead and install that prior to reinstalling the Upgrade Advisor. Once you have that installed, it's going to prompt you at the end when you click Finish to go ahead and, and open up the Upgrade Advisor automatically. But since we've already installed it, I'm going to go ahead and run it here from the desktop. The first thing we want to do is start the system scan. Now we want to scroll down a little bit and we want to look at all the different options. Now I know that I don't have some of these options on my computer. For instance, I don't have the ability to record television, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check all the options just to see which ones are actually supported on my computer before the upgrade process. Once you have everything checkmarked, click Next it tells me that my PC will run Windows Vista. So that's good. But we also want to go down and take a look and see what kind of issues that we may have. For example, I had already mentioned that I don't have a TV tuner card and that I can't record television. So that's okay. It's telling me to upgrade my graphics adapter. That's okay. I may not have certain experiences such as Windows Arrow when I upgrade to Windows Vista, but that's okay for right now. It gives you some other ideas of some things that need to be taken care of and other items where no action is required. Once you scroll down to the bottom, click Next. 
It's going to tell you what kind of drivers will not be compatible with versions of Vista. Now, I have noticed through previous upgrades and base installations that this particular network adapter does seem to work with Windows Vista. Now, also with my sound, video, and game controllers, there actually is a compatibility issue. So I'm not going to be able to have sound when I upgrade to Windows Vista. And my hard disk controller, no action required. Let's go ahead and click Next. And the upgrade advisor is now finished. I can save the report, I can print it, or I can close it out. So now that we know that the computer is compatible to upgrade into Windows Vista, we can start the installation process. I'm going to close out of a couple windows that we don't need. And let's go ahead and click on Install Now. There are going to be portions during the upgrade process where I'm going to be pausing the video. During that time, there will only be progress bars, so you won't be missing anything. But I will re-enable the video at times when I either, either need to enter information or I feel that there is something that needs to be shown during the upgrade process. Okay, well, we're out at our first prompt and it's prompting us, do we want to go out and go out to Microsoft's website and get the latest updates or do we not want to get the updates? The installation is recommending that we go get the updates, so I'm going to click on Go Online. It's going to search for updates. This might take a moment or two, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again. Vista is finished going out to Microsoft's website to check for updates and now it's asking me for my product key. I'm going to go ahead and type in my product key and when we come back I'll be on the next page. At this point my product key has been accepted. Now I have to read the license terms and I'm going to accept those terms and click on next. Now we have an option. Do we want to do an upgrade or do a custom advanced? In this example, we're simply going to do an upgrade. This is going to keep our file settings, programs, and only update Windows. Once again, be sure to back up your files before upgrading. We've already done that, so I'm going to click on Upgrade. Once again, I'm being told that some of my applications or drivers may not be supported in Windows Vista. I was already aware of that because I ran the compatibility report. I'm going to click on Next and we're going to upgrade Windows. It's going to copy the Windows files. This takes the process fin finished, it gathers the files, expands them, and I'm going to be coming back periodically to show the process. So far our upgrade is going pretty well. We were finished copying the Windows files and now we're gathering files. Okay, we're at a reboot point here. This is our first reboot in the process. Okay, now we're going through our next reboot. Okay, our system's coming back up again. You'll notice the dots coming across the screen. And we should be getting approximately two or three lines of the white dots. So we have a few more moments. Okay, we're coming along really well. Now we're coming up on the final sequence. Okay, here we are on the last leg of the installation, and we're being prompted to go ahead and set up Windows updates, whether or not we want them to be automatic or not to be installed. I'm going to go ahead and use the recommended settings. Then we need to go ahead and configure our time zone. Verify that you're on the correct date and time, and click Finish. And we're going to have another moment until it comes up. I'll be right back. Our installation is almost complete.
Okay, our upgrade process is now complete. We're being prompted to put in the password that we configured a few moments ago during the upgrade process. The installation of Windows Vista is a very straightforward process, whether or not you're installing it from scratch or whether or not you're doing an upgrade from Windows XP. Just make sure that before you do the upgrade, you back up your files. Chances are that you're not going to lose your files during the upgrade process, but just to be safe, make sure you back those up either to CD, to jump drive, or to another disk partition. If you have any questions, please send an email to btucker at blogcastrepository.com.